The sun's energy gives us warmth, it drives our weather patterns and it lights our planet. Without it, there would be no life on Earth. Sunlight is made up of tiny energy particles called photons. There are enough energy carrying photons reaching the Earth in a single minute to provide all of the planet's energy requirements for a year. Solar or photovoltaic panels are able to harness this energy producing clean, low carbon, renewable electricity which can be used to power our homes and businesses. Photovoltaic panels are comprised of many smaller solar cells. When photons strike the surface of the panel, they produce electricity. This is known as the photovoltaic effect. As these photons collide with the surface of the photovoltaic cell, particles within the cells called electrons are displaced. It is this movement or flow of electrons into the oppositely charged layer that produces an electric current. The clever thing is that photons are present in all light conditions, enabling photovoltaic cells to generate electricity even when it is cloudy. Before installing any photovoltaic or PV panels, it is important to consider some basic points. This will ensure the chosen location is suitable for an installation. For the panels to generate at their maximum efficiency, they should be mounted on a south-facing roof. It is possible to use roofs facing southeast or southwest, but this will reduce the overall efficiency of the system. Photovoltaic panels work most efficiently when tilted up from horizontal towards the sun. This angle varies with geographical location, but here in the UK, angles of between 30 and 45 degrees are optimal. Coincidentally, most roofs in the UK are pitched between these angles, enabling the solar panels to be fixed directly to the roof. This tilting of the panels ensures that, as the sun changes position in the sky as the year passes, the maximum amount of solar energy is collected. Overshadowing can seriously reduce the amount of electricity generated by the panels, so it is important to make sure that there are no tall trees or buildings nearby that cast shadows on the proposed roof. Planning permission is not usually required for photovoltaic panels, but you should consult your local planning office. There may be restrictions on historic buildings or buildings within conservation areas. In order for the installation team to work safely, scaffolding is required to access the roof. Once safe access has been provided, the installation process is quick and efficient. Anchors are fixed into the structure of the roof. This forms the basis of the mounting system to which the solar panels are attached. Parallel aluminium rails are connected to the roof anchors, and it is these rails which will support the solar panels. The delicate solar panels are then removed from their protective packaging and manoeuvred into position. The panel is then fixed to the rail and the next panel is ready to be moved into position. The electrical connections are made between the panels forming strings, enabling large currents to be induced in the solar circuit. These strings are then joined together into what is known as the solar array. Once the installation work on the roof is completed, some internal wiring is required to integrate the solar array into the grid. Solar panels generate direct current, not the alternating current, which is supplied by the national grid. An inverter is used to convert between the two types of current, which allows the electricity generated on your roof to be used in your building. Any excess electricity can be exported to the grid, providing renewable electricity for others to use. This exported electricity is metered and can be sold back to your electricity provider at a premium. Having solar power has never been easier and with new levels of financial support planned, you can make a difference and make money.